Hey guys, welcome back to Minimal Nerd. Are you looking for a PDF editor for your Mac? Have you been looking for some editors that have at least some AI features? Well, I think I found the perfect one for you. UPDF is a PDF editor with a lot of AI features. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I want to share with you some of those cool features. So UPDF is an AI powered PDF editor that I've been using for a couple of weeks now and I've been impressed by a lot of these features. So uh, I want to share with you first uh, how it looks. So when you go to UPDF, this is the interface you're going to face. I really like this design. It's very minimal, uh, sleek, very fast. So I already have some uh, PDF tabs open here. And you can see switching between different PDFs. Uh, it's very easy. Like this one is a really huge document and it loaded really, really fast. This is like 148 pages. So the design is very nice. This is the first thing I noticed. Um, do you have the option here for U UPDF Cloud, which basically means that you can upload your PDFs to the UPDF Cloud, but this of course requires a subscription. Um, so let's get into a PDF and see uh, how it's gonna work. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys some of these cool features. Okay, so let's open a PDF and see some of these uh, cool features that I've been talking about. Uh, this PDF is really cool. It's a guide about how to make viral videos and hooks. Um, it's a lengthy guide, so almost uh, 29 pages. And the cool thing about UPDF AI is that you can actually ask the AI about anything within this PDF. So the content is already uh, parsed by the AI and it can know what the question is about and then give you answers based on the content of the PDF. So I'm gonna just head over here to the chat. Uh, you can see here uh, UBDF says I'm um, your document assistant using, uh, of course, AI in the background. Uh, so I'm just gonna ask a question. Uh, I don't wanna read the whole document, so I'm just gonna say, what makes a good hook for a video? You can see the PDF, uh, the AI is actually reading the PDF and giving us the answer. A good hook for a video often captures the viewer attention right from the start. We have number one, intriguing question, visual impact, emotional appeal, teaser or cliffhanger, and personal connection. This is actually really cool. So it kind of summarizes what you're asking about in a very neat way. Uh, I don't have to read most of the you know, the text here, like I, if I want to, I can just go back and read more for more details. But if I have quick questions, this is really cool. Um, the other thing I want to show you here is the explain feature. So let's say you come up with some terms or some technical things that you don't know what they mean. You basically just highlight it, let's say viral hooks here, and you click on explain. And the AI will explain it for you. So a viral hook is something that utilizes catchy headlines, create captivation visuals, implement contests, collaborate with influencers. So it gives you a, more details about what you actually selected. So you don't have to copy paste this to ChatGPT or other AI tools. You can just do it from the PDF editor itself. Um, the other thing I want to show you here is the, the prompt feature here. So if you go here, you can click on translate, summarize, or explain. So the same features that you get here with highlighting a text, you get on the chat box here. So let's try something else. This is something that I uh, use a lot recently. Just because I speak two different languages, I speak French and I have people in my family and also friends who speak French and I've been juggling between the two languages for the last two weeks a lot, like between English and French for, I don't know, maybe uh, more than 10 times a day, I would say. So this is very helpful, especially for documents. I can just translate some of these uh, text, uh, you know, sections just with one click. I can click on translate, French, right there. Okay, there you go. Comment se guide neige, lutter pour obtenir plus de vues. Okay, so yeah, you can see like the translation is really good. Um, I'm I'm fluent in French, so I know that this, this is actually good translation. Uh, it's actually better than what I get from Google Translate. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to um, show you the summarization feature. So let's say this is a section that you don't want to read all the way. You can just click summarize here, and it will give you the basically the summary of that section. 
Uh, I like the how fast the AI is. It's really, really fast uh, and it's very responsive. And everything you, you generate in the PDF editor here, it goes to the chat. So you can always come back to it. Uh, you can see all the history of your chats here. And what's really cool, you can generate or regenerate more of the same. So let's say you don't like this generation, you can click regenerate and it's gonna do it again for you. So this is actually cool. So now that we've seen some of these cool AI features, let's move on and look at the PDF tools, which are called modes here. So if I open this PDF, which is a guide that I made recently for AI image generation, you can see that you get all the modes here. You get the reader mode, you get the comments, edit PDF, prepare the form, redact. Of course, for redaction, they tell you here that it allows you to permanently black out and remove sensitive content from your PDF. We have organizing the pages, then uh, of course, crop mode. And the last one is the page tools, which allows you to add watermarks, backgrounds, headers, and footers. So let's go to the reader mode quickly. Uh, the cool tip about this one is you can switch to each mode just by holding command zero, command one, two, three, until seven, I believe. So command zero gets you to reader mode, command one, command two, command three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's a cool trick um, if you wanna switch between modes quickly. Um, so reader mode is uh, basically the viewing of the PDF without doing any edits. So it saves you trouble of uh, making mistakes uh, or changing something to your precious PDF. Here you have the presentation mode, which I really like. I wish I had this one before when I did my presentation of this guide. It has a really cool uh, presenter view. So you can see exactly what you're gonna speak about before you speak about it. Uh, similar to what we can see on PowerPoint, but this is actually in a PDF editor, which is really cool. And you got a timer here telling you how much time is spent and the time of day. Okay, let's go back. Um, we're gonna go to the comment mode. So here you can just basically highlight some sections and place some comments on them. So let's say I wanna change something here. I can just add a comment here saying that uh, word is not um, clear, for example. What I like about the sticky notes or the comments here is that they are color coded, so you can change the colors to highlight different sections, which is kind of cool. Next, we have the highlights, so you can highlight this section here and maybe tell your uh, editor to change uh, the title. So we have all the basic, uh, you know, comment tools here, strike through, underline, uh, squiggly, which, uh, you know, highlights some mistakes, text comments, text box, text uh, callout, pencil, eraser, rectangle, distance tool, attach file, uh, stickers, if you want to add some stickers. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, I wish I did that in my presentation. And then we have the stamps, which are basically a way to stamp your document and whether it's uh, reviewed, approved, and you can just put it at your, the end of the document or uh, anywhere you want, where it's giving you the name of the editor, the time of day, and also the date. So that's really cool. Um, and then here we have the signature, which is basically uh, the same signature you can find for PDF uh, fill up. Okay, let's move on to the edit PDF. So here in the edit, uh, you can change the text, the images. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit here. So when you are in the edit mode, you can change the text. Uh, let's say top 22 tools instead of 21. Uh, you can change the images. So let's go to this one here and click on it. I can rotate it, okay. I can uh, flip it horizontally, vertically, and I can actually replace the image or extract it if I want that image. So let's say I want to replace it with something a bit more simple, like this one. Done. Uh, and then you can add links here. So for for these kind of tools, like I'm, I'm really impressed by how fast it is to actually edit the PDF. Like I told you, this PDF is really big. It's 148 pages. And the responsiveness is really amazing. And I don't see a lot of errors. So whenever I edit some parts, like let's say the text, uh, I don't get any weird artifacts or 
um, weird uh, layouts or styling because uh, what I had before with other PDF editors is that the moment you start to edit the text or the images, uh, a lot of the layouts start to change and you you just give up on it and you don't want to edit anything. So yeah, it's really cool. Uh, you can edit any text here in the PDF and um, I'm really impressed by how responsive it is. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is the creating the form here or preparing the form. Uh, this is really cool because uh, if you want to create a form that people can fill, let's say some official document, you can just come here and make your boxes. All the, all the stuff that you need to create a form is here. So this is really cool. I don't use this much, um, but I know a lot of people use uh, forms either for uh, customer acquisition, for sending legal documents. So this is really cool. So the next thing is the redaction. So you can redact some parts of the PDF uh, if you don't want people to see it, if it's a sensitive information. Uh, this is used usually for legal documents. Uh, they are redacted sometimes. And uh, the next thing is the organized pages. So you can see a lot of your pages here and you can either insert new pages, replace, extract, split them, flip them. Uh, it's really cool like how responsive it is. So from the reader mode to the organized pages, it's so fast. Uh, I'm, I've seen other PDF editors struggle just with simple things like this. Then we have the crop pages. So here we can crop the actual uh, PDF and it applies to all pages if you want. Then we have the page tools which allow you to add the uh, watermarks, backgrounds, headers and footers. Now that we've seen the um, uh, PDF modes. Let's move on to the other section here. It's on the right side. So we have, of course, the export mode. Then we have the encryption with a password, uh, sharing with other people or collaborating with other team members, uh, sending this by email or saving as something else. For example, saving um, this as, let's say, a PDF standard, a PDF for print, saving it for the UPDF cloud, reducing the size, um, there's a lot of cool features here and you can find more features if you go to the uh, menu section of UPDF. So let's try and export this as a Word document. So Word document, docx, let's see how long it's going to take. Export, save here. As you can see, it's super fast when it comes to uh, making or converting PDFs. Um, I've seen other PDF editors take a long time, but this one is super fast. So um, that's it for UPDF. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. And let me know in the comments below whether you like UPDF and what kind of features are interesting for you. I'm really uh, excited about the AI features because I sometimes have to deal with a lot of uh, long documents or guides. And now I can just talk to my document basically. So this is really cool. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.